What's up guys? Good morning. We're out here day number one just getting getting everybody dumped in the boat uh, Dumped in the boat dumped in the lake. Sorry. It's it's way too early I got here super early thinking I'd have it all to myself give me a good parking spot and everything and it's busy But all good fixing to go out here see if we can't snag us a few a few fish so Head up and go fish some uh, areas of the lake that I have quite a quite a bit of confidence in See if we can't come up with something by the end of the day time to get it so I'll start the morning off where I shook the fish off in the practice video and you can say things started a little weird. Oh freaking turtle dude. What in the world? How did you pull Are you that serious? off? Man. I don't even know how I'm gonna get my jig back. It's a big turtle too. There you go guys. First catch of the day. So clearly I missed a pretty good fish, seemed like a good one. But here's the important thing I want y'all to pick up on. Um, you're about to see just how many times I flip back in this tree. It's so important just to keep after them. A fish like that this time of year really isn't going anywhere. I'll probably spend another 15 minutes I'm just pulling it up out of there. flipping back in the tree, re-rigging, throwing different bait, flipping back, flipping back, flipping back. Finally, some pretty cool stuff happens. Oh, y'all don't know what that means to get a second chance at that fish. Y'all don't know how important that fish right there is to points of Forcewood Cup. Guys, I gotta show y'all this. So I just caught that fish just down in there. Now look over. Playing freaking right beside me. So I did end up catching uh, one more keeper that y'all didn't get to see. My apologies. I know. I'm a terrible camera guy. I know it. But I caught one more decent fish. I'll talk about my end day weight and all that here in just a second. But it was super tough, just like predicted. Um, obviously, if you guys smash them, clearly I wasn't quite one of them. All right, so we finished up day one. I had uh, 
812, I think it was, sitting in 60 second, which is, to be honest with you, as tough as practice was, um, they caught them a little bit better than I thought they would. But it seems like every tournament this year, after the first day, I'm always sitting like right there on the pay cut, never up in like 30th, 40th, always right on the pay cut. Um, but I hate to complain about it. So y'all saw kind of the craziness that went on with the first fish. Second one you didn't see because I had my camera down in the floorboard. But I think that um, where I got that second bite, which was a quality fish, two fish for 812, where I got that second that second bite um, on a spinnerbait, I think I can go back and catch more right before I had to roll in because I found it like super late. I mean, it was like 2 o'clock. Um, but right before I had to come in, I had one other bite. And there's shad like super high up in the water column. Um, and it just seemed like they were fixing a bite. So should have, would have, could have. Who, who knows if they were or were not. Um, but I'm going to actually start there tomorrow. I'm not going to leave all this other stuff alone that I started with. Uh, that I wasted half the day with uh, today. I'm going to leave all that alone. Just go straight there tomorrow. Put a, uh, probably put a blade in my hand. And what should we come up with? Priority number one, just go catch some fish. And then hopefully we can, uh, I'll probably need about another eight pounds to get paid. See if we can do that, and then maybe uh, bust a big bag and go fishing Saturday. It's been a long time since I made a uh, top 30 cut, so I'd sure like to do that here. See if we can do it. Things can happen quick. If you get a bite, they're big. Um, so yeah, definitely five five bites. I mean, if I can get five of the five of the bites that I had yesterday or today, um, I mean, I get up there 20 pounds real quick. So see if we can go make it happen. Later, guys. Good morning, guys. About to get day number two kicked off here at Grand Lake. Had uh, two for 812 yesterday. Got me sitting, actually, I'm in 62nd right now. Got launched up, fixing a, uh, do a little morning ceremonies, all that, all the prayer, national anthem, and good stuff. Gonna start where we left off yesterday. Hope those shed are still high up in the water column. Put that blade in our hands and roll. Got my marshal. We gonna catch him today, man? Absolutely. I like that. All year long, I had good, good juju. He's a local, so we're gonna catch like, 20 pounds today. He, he can just fill it. So we're gonna catch it. Catch him up big. Hope to make a uh, top 30 cut for tomorrow. See if we can't be fishing uh, Saturday, Sunday. Later. It's real rough. It's a southwest So on the second day, I decided to just start off uh, where I caught my second keeper uh, the day before just because I felt like that flipping fish was just kind of a circumstantial deal. Uh, he just happened to be there. As you may have seen some of the people posting about on day two it came just a stupid storm um, some of these catches sorry about the quality I don't have the way I have to run my GoPro um, and get power to it there's not a good way to waterproof it for like hardcore storms so I have to rely on the old uh, sandwich bag and rubber band around it uh, but I do have a little bit of footage here we had to jump under a dock because it started cracking lightning like super close to us and to be honest with you I'm just not down with fishing in lightning uh, when it's that close. Oh, oh he's ripping. Choked it, though. But it's always like you can, it's very hard to make the cup. <laughs> One of them that, uh, one of them that eat it and can't get enough. All right. We own the bigs, guys. <laughs>
Look at that. Come off in the come off in the floor of the boat. We don't need no nets. Alright guys, that is the tournament for me. We just finished up. It's actually day four now. We've been out here at the expo. As y'all know, I do a lot of stuff with the kids club, the foundation, give away kayaks, all kinds of stuff during the expo if I don't make the cut, which I did not, unfortunately, this tournament. But after my practice, which y'all saw, I caught one freaking keeper in all of practice. So I ended up catching three keepers for the tournament. Put me in 84th, dropped me down in points from 40th to 48th. But honestly, after my practice, I survived. That's what all I really wanted to do for this one. Didn't want to screw my points all up because um, we're still eyeballing the Forest Wood Cup. That's what that's what we're that's what we're after. Fixing to hit the road. Got the boat in tow. Go home. Relax. Got a few guide trips. Get ready for Lake Cherokee. Stop number five. The FLW Tour. Appreciate you guys watching. If you like this video, please subscribe. Give me a like. Tell your friends. Later, guys. Thank mm -hmm. you.